Are you a people pleaser? You are easier to spot than you might think. People pleasers are super attuned to everyone around them being comfortable. And when someone is distressed, the people pleaser will jump right into action to help rescue the situation, fix it, or whatever needs to be done. And they can't help themselves. It's an autopilot reaction that's happening in your brain and you might not even be noticing it. You see, your brain solves problems the same way all the time. And that's what these people are doing. They see a problem and they jump in to fix it. And what happens is they often get accolades from those that they've helped. And in return, they feel accepted and maybe loved. And so your brain then is really quick to give you a dopamine hit. And, and that just reinforces the pattern over and over and over again. You see, you've heard from me before, your brain loves to solve problems the same way over and over again. And it looks for patterns. It works in patterns. And some patterns are serving you and some are not. So let me tell you what's happening at the core for people pleasers. At the core, what you really want is you want things to run smoothly. You don't want to rock the boat in any way. And when things are not running smoothly, you get this internal feeling of anxiety. Like in, in your body, you feel this sensation and you don't know what to do with it. The only tool you've ever learned to calm that anxiety is to jump into action. And that anxiety is your trigger. It's triggering you to jump into action when you don't need to. You think you're helping people and you think you're doing good and you think that you're doing it for unselfish reasons. But in reality, what you're doing is you're trying to stamp out that inner sensation that you're feeling that's making you totally uncomfortable. You say, it might seem like this is a win-win situation, right? But wrong, because this people-pleasing is robbing you of your joy for several reasons. The first reason that you, you, you lose your joy as a people-pleaser is that you end up doing all the things that everybody else wants you to do that you don't even want to do. And the thing is, you can't say no because you can't understand how to deal with this inner anxiety that comes with saying no. It causes you to live with this inner resentment, the burnout, and you often feel like you're being taken for granted. Secondly, your joy gets robbed because you're so busy meeting everyone else's needs that you really don't know what you need and you desire. And guess what? You're so busy that there is absolutely no time to create space in your brain to know what you need or want. You say to yourself things like, I'll work on myself when the kids move out, or I get a new job, or I retire. And that is holding you back and keeping you stuck. The third reason that people pleasing is no bueno, it's because it always disappoints you. You secretly expect people to jump in when you need help and they don't. And they don't because they're not mind readers and because you have trained them that you have it all together and you are the one that jumps in. It's a pattern and this pattern can be intercepted and changed. It's a pattern that robs you of your joy and keeps you stuck on the treadmill of life you no longer need to live this way. You matter and so do your needs. You can make space to figure it out and you no longer need to jump into action to quell that inner turmoil only to feel regret later. I just want you to know that I am a pattern buster and stress disruptor. Yep, that's me. And it's an inside job and I love what I do. Reach out if you want to get my free gift and I would love to give you that free gift to help you move forward in this pattern that you 
want to bust. Have a great day. Doreen Steenland from Living Full Life Coaching.